Hi, Andrew Morrison back with another Straw Bale Minute. I want to talk today about heating and cooling systems or HVAC in general. Uh, one of the things that people often do with straw bale construction is they build a slab on grade and they use radiant floor heating. And that's a great idea for heating. It does raise some issues for cooling. Now if your environment is one that is going to cool off at night and you can get that air into the house and close the windows up early in the morning, you probably will never need a cooling system with a straw bale house because they're so well insulated. That said, if you do want a cooling system, uh, there is some information coming out now about using radiant cooling and it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's a little bit new of a technology so hopefully it'll, it'll uh, take off and work just, just great. Uh, another option is to go with a standard HVAC system. Uh, basically it's a forced air system, you can use a heat pump, you can use a number of different options with that. Uh, the idea behind that is that you have to then run ductwork. Now one of the problems with running ductwork is, is it's really easy to get leaky ducts and then you have a very inefficient system. So even if you've got a, um, a unit that's, that's an incredibly efficient unit, the ductwork can ruin that very simply. So the key there is to make sure you have really good seals on all of the ducts or run the ducts in a conditioned space. Now a great tip for doing this is to have a house that's got nine foot ceilings and then wherever you have a hallway, you run that hallway at eight feet. You build a drop soffit ceiling, run all of your duct work within that drop soffit so that if it does ever leak, even though you're going to seal it well anyway, if it does ever leak, it's in a conditioned space and you're not losing that heat or the cooling air. It's a great little secret for uh, creating an efficient system. So again, when you're using either HVAC or radiant systems, you want to make sure you're using a high efficiency unit itself, the boiler or the water heater or whatever it is that's running the radiant and the heat pump or the actual system that's running your HVAC. Now again, that's just part of the equation. So get an efficient system, spend a little more money, do a solid installation, spend a little more money there too, and make it worthwhile. This is a system that can save you a lot of money in the long run if your house is built well, which as a straw bale house, of course it will be. See you next time.